but it's also extremely dangerous. Good God. Wow, I'm disturbed on the wall now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. Hi folks, welcome to another Exploring the Forgotten. Let's uh, bring you guys in here. Oh, can't see me because of my lights. Let's just turn that off. We're just on our way down into the mine, as always. So uh, just the other day we went off down that way. Went down there. That's where we went on one of our last explores. So today, so what level was this one again? A. A, so. Well, you can call it one if you want. To. Level or level one. <laughs> it is in, um, I, I honestly, folks, I've given up on this whole level thing with this mine because it's just impossible to figure out. <laughs> I'm classing it as A because that's a mill level. So it's the yeah. next one down. About 50 or 60 feet between each one. So. Again, folks, if you've got definitive level information, what they're called, let us know because um, every video is going to be based on a level of this mine. <laughs> so that's that's how I got envisioned me doing it because I just don't know how else to do it otherwise. That's handy, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. The glove of sin. Where is it? Come on, camera, pick it up. There you are. There. Yeah, the incline eases off just here. <laughs> I can't see it on the camera screen. There you go. Where is it? Come on. Too exposed. We're well overexposed here. What's going on with the camera? Let's so have a look. class this is level B. One minute. Sorry folks, just bring you guys back in. Yeah, that rubber glove. Uh, the camera settings are all over the place then for some reason. No idea what's going on. But yeah, we're gonna uh, Adam's already way ahead of us down there, look. We're uh, gonna make our way down the incline today. So uh, we've neglected to film, uh, film any of this on our previous explores. <laughs> we both lost count how many times we've been down here now, but it's probably got to be well over ten times. <laughs> and ten times, folks, and we still haven't seen all this mine. I mean, how ridiculous is that? Is that, you reckon, Joe? Probably ten times we've been down here now? That's B. Yeah, somewhere up there, isn't it? Ridiculous. Well, then I've worked it as 100 foot between them after that. Yeah. Hope you can hear us there, uh, folks. There's quite a noisy bit of a stream coming in there from that. So sort of coming off a level there. So we got another level there. A flooded level there. So we have actually got something here as well. Up there. Which we'll probably include on another video just to see where it goes. But today we wanted to get another one of these levels done down here. We've kind of nicknamed it the Urbex level. So it's the main level that everybody goes to with the compressors, the compressor chamber. Um, oh, we've not got an old compressor winch there. Every time we come here, it's moved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, every time we come down here, that's shifted. It's crazy, folks, you think. The amount of slate that came up these little rail lines over the years. Hundreds of thousands of tons. If not, like, millions of tons of slate. I don't know. But you think about it. Let's just fetch you guys in there. The amount of the stuff that came up. Absolutely mind-boggling. And there's four tracks here originally, folks. Four rail tracks. So... So today we're coming off on this level. That's right, isn't it? We're coming off here. Yeah. 
So it's a really elastic, fancy point here. An old switch here. Yeah, it's been too, uh, a point yeah. just here on the angle. Marvellous bit of engineering to put that in. So our last explore folks, we came here. You can see there we got the old water tank, which is just full of copper wire, where the people have just smashed it all up. Are we going down that way and come back up here? I don't know, which way do you want to go? Do you want to go down that way yeah. today and then get it over and done with? Or yeah. should we come back that way? That's easier, come back up. Yeah, <laughs> we'll come back up that way, folks. But so uh, we're going, we're going down there today. It's, it's a very rare occasion. We can see all the way to the bottom. Look, normally there's loads of mist down here, folks. There you go. That's a good uh, first time we've ever been able to see down it. Oh, there's a wagon down there. Look, there's a pile of them all smashed up. Yeah, and go up there. There's another tunnel going off here. That's got, that looks like it's caved in. Another tunnel here, we're not being down junk. Well, it doesn't look like it goes too far. Yeah, so yeah, that's where we come from. You can see the incline this place is on. There's a heck of an incline. Last time we were here, you probably heard me going last time, this, this wagon had wheels on it, one set of wheels, and someone's had them off look, recently. <coughs> People nicking wheels for. So we are going this way then. Hey? We are going this way. I can't hear you. We're going this way. Do we go that way, dear? We'll go this way, you're halfway down. <laughs> yeah, we're going this way, folks. But we were thinking about going that way, then down the zigzag route to compression chamber. <laughs> but uh, when we first came to this mine last year, after not being here for 20 plus years, we decided to come down here, but I never filmed it. We just walked around because I decided it was just too sketchy to film and walk down. But I think, I think you deserve to see what we're seeing coming down here. It's uh, trying to take my time, but there's also some interesting artifacts down here in the form of some of the old wagons which have been chucked down from the mine, from the main mill level found their way down here probably by kids or just people being idiots I can see there, look, look at the groove lines and that with the rope worn through the slate yeah Adam was telling me they only used one track on this incline towards the end yeah, I would think it was one. the middle one which seems to be the most intact so you can see the angle there look folks up there See that going up. Got Marauder torturing me today because I like the little square. <laughs> you can point at things easier. Let's have a quick look at this. There you go. It's all smashed underneath, isn't it? And the wheels have oh, got chunks out of them. What a shame, eh? Well, it's, it's survived that far coming down there. <laughs> Is this the one that was on that level up there? No, that, that's used to have the wheels on it, they've gone. Yeah, so we reckon this thing is. Uh, been pushed from the very top of the mill, all the way at the top, because these things are all over the mill site. I reckon some idiots a long time Al ago James pushed is, them um, down. You wouldn't want to have been down here when they were coming down, would you? There's four of them here. Yeah? Four of them? Yeah, and a pile. Oh, wow. Oh. Try not to hurry up, take the time here. There's one here used to be in the mill with a steel top on, I remember this one. One sec. Just See the one on the back footing. here with a steel top? Oh wow, look at this, what a shame. That one used to go from the soaring tables and to in front where they used to dress the slate. That one. Wow. It's all been hocked up, look, and it? So there's one, two, three, four. Four of these trucks up, folks. That came out made a hell of a noise then coming down. Just been shut down from Whoever the mill. that one was with them, I don't know. That was old, that one, it's got the old wooden frame on it. Yeah, if you look at... So if you look at one of our other videos, folks, we've got a video of Minor Vern, Minor Ferren in 2002, check out all our other videos. You'll probably notice some of these up on the mine top video because there's just a big stack of them outside the mills. But obviously kids have chucked them down, I'm assuming. Wait, well, the copper thieves have been here. Was this here last time? No, no, they haven't touched that one. A bit of this four mil armor, is it? Yeah, it's just been left here. Yeah, look. They advertise the fact they've already had the wheels off that wagon oh, yeah. up there. Sorry, is it? Well, that's the foot of the incline, James. 
crash. Looks like what's that? Six mil? Looks like six mil. There's a few quids worth here. They've already started stripping it out, look, folks, and giving up. Look, see, let's get a copper out of it. All of them disturbed. Been disturbed, just left it. You can see here the last four tracks here are three tracks from the fall. I thought the um, fourth track stopped at that level up there. Yeah. And they put yeah. the point in. And obviously then utilise that far it. one. Because the wall started subsiding at the top, didn't it? Yeah, you can see this. Um, we've got the ropes coming down here, folks, and the old winders at the top. Look at this rope here, it's in the best condition. Still got the grease on it. Whereas this one is rusted off or rusted up. So they obviously replaced the, the wire. Smashed pretty the late wheel on. Here, look. Alright, another one, yeah. Another wheel over there, look, folks. Wagon. So I always had them off that wagon. They've had to carry the axle bar up and the four wheels. <laughs> yeah. That's they're not bloody light. They're two weeks down to steel. I know. If they've nicked them. Yeah, it's interesting, uh, folks. You see a lot of uh, stuff disappearing. Stuff since, disappearing since we've been coming here. And then one day I, I just typed in on marketplace slate wagon or something like that. And you get people trying to sell these wheels for these wagons for hundreds of pounds. It's like, what? What are you doing? Who buys these things? Ornaments? Or something stick in your garden? I don't know. Another one here, look. Oh. Yeah, you can look at it. The, these sleepers are in quite good nick compared to the other ones. Yeah, See how that, bad was, the, they that are. was the last one they used, that track. So this track was the last one they used. Yeah, look at this one here. It's just, the water's just completely corroded it away, look. Big cavern here. And when we first come down, we thought this is where the uh, the Hunter's Tunnel machine was, down there. But this, this here carries on and joins up with the, um, what's the name of the entranceway, Chuck? Oh, Cook's Lever. Yeah, the, that tunnel there goes, well, would have come out above the old Votti workings. Yeah, the... Down there, the it joins up come, with another they, tunnel. They would have, they would have turned um, left up there. Yeah. Walk to underneath the incline and come out the back of here. That's it. Round by the winder. That's it. So they didn't have to go anywhere near the operations of this incline. Yeah, There's you can see all this, this build up down here, folks, of all this. So at some point we've had some pretty heavy duty flooding going on down here. But there we go. You can see up there. There you are. Can't really see, but. I wonder if the uh, rope was ever kind of taut and like in mid-air. It must have been there. With the weight of some of these blocks going up on these tracks. But then again, using kind of home and I got a thinner cable in this and that tends to sag even with like yeah. a ton and a half of weight on it. You which think must there be must be a lot of weight in these. It'd be nice to have seen the clasps at the end of these. I'm guessing they're just buried under here now. Yeah. Yeah, the old clasps folks with the hooks yeah. that would have attached yeah. to these. Probably attached to this or something, I don't know. Look at the video. It's still at the top of the incline. Yeah, there's one there, that's right. That's come off the battle of an old wooden base one. Yeah, it's the one up the incline. Looks like the Land Rover tyre in there, look, folks. There's a, there's a truck cab off a of Landy there, look. Yeah, a truck cab off a of Land Rover. So this is the only thing you met with you come down. Oh, more wheels. Smashed up. Some old electrics, look. We haven't seen this before, because every time we've been down this, it's been disturbed, so... Yeah, we've got some uh, railway wagon wheels there. Do you want to go through there. first? Yeah. Got a safety gate old, here. Um, so under here, there's a switch track, isn't the truth you said? Yeah. If it's all buried, you can't see it anymore. But if you go through first, you might just see it the other yeah. side. And you disturb the water as you go that way. <laughs> got stones in my welly, so I'm hoping it's not a sign of uh, penetration yeah, about to happen. Yeah, you can see happen. the point here, look. Just here. Oh, yes, yes. You can just there see the railway wheels, rails there, folks. And the old Land Rover wheels this, rotting away. <laughs> this truck cab was loaded down here about 15 years ago. <laughs> and I found the moped down here. Not DL. And the most interesting thing about the moped being down here is the fact they had a big old tarp tin. There's a headlamp on it. <laughs> and it was hidden in that electrical building over there. <laughs> right, folks. Yeah. Wagons have been moved around a bit, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. So we have been down here multiple times, people. We'll uh, come clean with you there. We have filmed a lot of this, but the footage... When I look back at the Fair footage, way. it's just not uh, not like what I can what I what I'm what I'm, what I normally try and set out to do now, folks. So, and the quality of the camera equipment we're using now is well, we wouldn't have got this lit up like this. So, well, we can try harder if you yeah. want. Yeah. So in here we got uh, 
that. We've got an old little winch here, look, where so they would have pulled the wagons down, isn't it? Wagons down. But again, a lot of old electrical look in here. A lot of electrical there, look. Got stuff there. All these old cables that the idiots haven't managed yet to get out, but hey, give it time. Yeah, look at the size of this compressed air pipe on here. Yeah, they must have moved this around a lot in the mine at one point, so a little sledge on it, look. So yeah, this is um, How's that? James? compressed air thing. Oh, look, all the little bell systems, look, or something there, look. Like a pulley. Yeah, signaling for all there to pull. Yeah, so this would have pulled the, the loads in from the other room, we think. You'll Down see in a minute. Down this track here. Yeah, so it's just- There's the Highway. Urbex Highway up there, folks. Zigzag path that goes so up there. So there's a zigzag, if you look at my torch, that's where we would have come in when I was out telling Adam which way we're going, it zigzags down and comes out there. So yeah, that's big old cavern here, folks. So yeah, yeah this is, oh, there's a set of wheels there. You reckon that's what come off that wagon then? Yeah, they were here. No, they've gone. And no sign yeah. of them on the incline at all. There's an old side wagon over there, there, look. They're off that. Big old load of pipe work here for a receiver. These actually do move around. Why has that been attached to that? Yeah, you can move it. Yeah. This one not so much because it hasn't got any grease on it anymore. The other yeah. one's quite good. It's a quite yeah. lively. So I'm moving a slab on that by hand. No one they had a winch. Yeah. There you <laughs> go, this one's actually greased up, so it'll move better. <laughs> I think I it's found something. Really, right? Someone's recreated the. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have carried that out, would they? How much easier that moves, folks. So if that was oiled up, it really well. <laughs> Much more modern then. So yeah, yeah, we can see down here, you've got a... There's a charging station over there, isn't it? I think it's charging station. Yeah, all this, um, an old compressor. Got these pipe works go through here. Quite a lot of old electrics. That's an old charger for a... You see all the, uh, someone's been stripping the transformer, all the copper lock. These are all the cores from the transformer out of this probably. Do we That's do all the buildings here, James? Battery charger. An old one, that, isn't it? Vehicle battery charger. They had that little tug down here, but this is probably... Did they have a tram in Loco, did they? Yeah, a little Clayton. Yeah. Well, we've seen with some more wire here. Look, they haven't stripped back yet. They must have been having a field day down here. But uh, this mine was electrified very early on, wasn't it? Very early on. You can see the size of the cables that come in this look folks. Look at the size of that. And you can see it they've they've even pulled the copper out of that look. I'm going to the back of this. Oh wow look at that yeah. Some big old electrics there look. Set fire to the motor here look. Yeah to get the copper out isn't it? Still got can the resistor banks gear? in here James. You what? Resistor banks are still in there. We'll have a look in those buildings in a minute. Oh wow, another, yeah. You know, that unit we found up, up in the top level, it's similar to that, isn't it? Could the bearings still turn up? Look at that. Very cool. They'll be imperial, won't they? You won't get these anymore. Yeah, the old compressor, that's the air filter for it. Some modern shut off valves on top, look. Let's bring you in there. Yeah, they've just completely shredded the motor up, look, for the copper. Big magnets here, Five look. quid's worth of copper. All the brushes are still in the commentator, look. Oh, yeah, there we are. Well, they're still sat in the housing. Won't move now, or they'll be seized up. Well, that'll move yeah. a bit, but... Carbon brushes still in it, look. Yeah. But that did a few hours, didn't it? It's a shame, though, isn't it? Big old receiver, look, again. See, these are old, look, because they're all pot rooted together. Oh, no, riveted. Riveted, sorry, yeah, Under riveted. pressure, yeah. hot riveted. Don't do them like that anymore. Put more corrosion on the outside. The inside. Even, even the safety valve has been taken, look. Left the spring on top. Spring, yeah. But yeah, it comes straight off a two-piston compressor. Got, got the belts That's on it. Probably why it's rusted. Yeah. The heat you've got off this. Oh, look at all the oil come off the front of that. It's a big motor, isn't it? You look at the size of the thing. Realise how big it is, do you? Left the valve handle on top of it, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's not supposed to be on there, folks. So. <laughs> Globe valve, isn't it? That? Yeah. Oh, that's been put on there. Hell of a machine, that. God. For some reason, my hard hat today is really compressing my head. 
What's that, the? Yeah, we've got some big electrics there oh, as yeah, well. Yeah, it's been taken out of here, look. Ah, uh, all right, okay. There you go. Someone's taken that out. Probably just nick it, probably. Brass in it. That's a fucking point. Yeah. Gotta get. There you go. And the valve still works, look. Wow. <laughs> nice. Oh, heard something there. It's probably you wobbling this, isn't it? The rest yeah, the rust falling it. off it. <laughs> wouldn't want to put air through these now, would you? If we no. can get a. See, we've got this. Uh, Bloody great explosion. Relatively modern cable. If someone's tried cutting it to see if it's worth having for the copper. <laughs> no pointers under here. Probably this would have been the control panel for it, perhaps. You know, it was a DC motor or an AC motor. Well, it looks like it's three terminals, so maybe it was a three phase motor. Sorry, folks, bring you in there. Probably three phase, wouldn't it? Some sort of cut off box there, look. Let's have a look at the front, see if it, see if it says anything we can make out anything on. Supply on, relay closed. Still works now. Emergency stop. I'd it's a heater, James. A new control box, like you've got a timer relay in there, look. That's the air intake. So I'd say it's this not. is a relatively say modern, but <laughs> got a little indicator lamp there. Come off there, so let's put that back on. Yeah. Fixed it, folks. Yeah, put it back together. That meter's pretty cool, though, isn't it? Oh. Those belts are impressive on this. Huge things. You must change out 100 quid for them now, would you? Train line here, look. <laughs> Makes you wonder if this was um, another compressor they've removed. Probably what? Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Definitely was, because look at this, we've got another big pipe here, runs that receiver down there. So it looks to me like the motor's where you are, and here was a compressor, there, yeah. with a belt wheel. That's it, yeah. Again, look, folks, they've been burning cable, and they've left all the uh, lead, lead behind. Tons and tons of lead. Weird, isn't it? Weird, yeah, because I know we know it's almost expen as expensive in some cases, more expensive than copper. Here's one of them belts up, James. Look at the bloody size of them. Oh, is that one off that thing, yeah. is it? Look at the size. Bloody hell. Would that be an inch and a half? <laughs> Side rubber belt. Yeah, look at that. Don't get me in for your power. That's been you? chopped off there, is it? Or was yeah. it just snapped off? Oh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, look, folks, there's like one, two, there's four on it, but it takes six. Six belts. Blow down valve there, but it was noisy at the end of the day. <laughs> you reckon they use this? Drain um, all the water out. Yeah, this is the last one they use. Because this one looks probably older than the one at the very end of the tunnel well, system, isn't it? first come down here, this is still immaculately painted in the silver ham right. It looked like you could just turn it on, which you probably could. I think in here, the thing is, is... Uh, and they used to have all the roofs on them. Yeah, you reckon this is vandals? Nothing's fallen from the roof, No, dry rot's brought the slating. It's all slate still on the outside of that one, look. That's where that moped used to be. Love to figure out where that is, where it's in the uh, mine here still, it's gone out. I don't know, I reckon vandals have had a big part in a lot of this. Let me have a look in here, James, at the, um, we found a, a boot yeah, these, in here, didn't we? looks like these were, these must have been here because they're on a concrete padlock. Strange place to put switch gear, isn't it? But uh, let's have a look in here, folks. Remember that shoe we found? All right, folks. A lot of old electrical in here, look, another. Looks like a transformer. Yeah, yeah, transformer look. So that's where the solid, uh, let's just bring you guys in here. So there have been copper windings around each one of these cores. They've just expanded because of the rust. And then you can see the level where the oil was. Then you've got some wires here, look. And it would have been full of oil. So high voltage coming in, low voltage out for something or another. There's another one there, look, another transformer. It's just been full of water now, look. It's on wheels too. Ah, there the cores out of it, look. See, they would have been in the bottom of that. Some old switch gear, pump, and loco charger. There you go. Bill. Oh, there you are, some big old cables in there, look. They just ripped the cable out of the wall here, haven't they? Pulled the cable out of there, look, and then it's, uh, you can see the size of them in there, look at them. Big old copper cables. Not had them yet. They've been they've basically just scrapped out all the really big cables. So you can see here where the phases would have been. Would have been a probably big cable coming in there maybe. 
all guesswork folks but it's definitely a transformer yeah you can see in there look where's a heavy power that's big power whether that's part of the DC system they had here it's hard to say really my understanding is they had um, like a 600 volt DC system for all the old school inclined motors and the original electronics down here then they probably bought free phase in when it was available some names and graffiti in here look and nothing old it's all modern shit yeah unfortunately but yeah yeah look we've got some big big electrics here some of the cables still going out underneath that one's been chopped those two there are still going off look so they can see the size the the size of them things there big contactors probably about a centimeter thick each one of them would have been some buzz bars in here folks that carry the current through and split off to where it needed to go there you go look at the size of them in there can get you in there I'm try, trying to find a way of getting you in yeah, look at the size of them. They're almost an inch thick, each one of them conductors. Look at the size of that. Yeah, would have been one of the big main cables coming out. Shouldn't yet. Still got, got some stuff tagged up over here, James. Ah, oh, they're telephone, those are. Uh, look at Scotchy blocks. <laughs> pump, pump, indicator light. Oh. Feed from surface. Yeah. What's that one then? Now one of them goes all the way to the end of the mine, doesn't it? To pump in F floor. So that'd be sig floor. signal lights, is it? Or so they've used um, the telephone wire as uh, just a bit of everything, really. <laughs> Slate isolators in that one, look, folks. Ah. Hmm, GEC. Probably need for a light or something here, wouldn't it? Yeah, look at the old school wire coming off it there. The old lead sheathed one. Wow. Crazy, isn't it? Big cable come out there as well, folks. There are, look, there's still some original cables still here. Some of the asbestos sheathed stuff going out there, look. That must have been bloody mad taking out the bits. Yeah, all these, do you see these have got this covering, folks? Oh, sorry to bring you in. It's got this covering. Now, Interesting, it's got some sort of wood fungus on the timber in here. So you've got this sheathing, then you've got this lead layer, and under there you've got the actual conductors. So, I mean, it's... Some money's worth of cable knocking around in this place. But I just wonder why they never took the copper in it. I see the mad fungus in this timber, James. Go yeah, look at Crazy that. Crazy fungus balls everywhere. I still think, you reckon it's just gone? It's just rotted away? Yeah, it's dry rot, isn't it? And then the roost come in. Definitely dry rot. Oh, these old bulkhead fittings are cool, aren't they? There's oh, yeah, the name with the shades this. on them. It's like the one we saw down the bottom Oh of yeah, look at that, folks. Yeah. That's why the roost come in. Look at that, it's just like disintegrating <laughs> in your hand. It's not enough to tell you, you've got to break it. Well, it proves it's the how it, I thought it's vandals. No. <laughs> you missed the door. Oh, wow, well, yeah. <laughs> not a lot left of that. Shut the door. <laughs> oh, there we go, look, folks. A lot of the cables coming out of here, look. Oh, top engine, huh? Coming out of here, a few going up there. Let's see it's why they're after it, look. Big old copper conductor in there that's just one single conductor it is here yeah, that's just one single conductor and this one here let's just have a look yeah one massive lump of copper in there one single conductor there you are it's what I used two to two quid's worth of copper there folks come and grab it <laughs> bloody hell honestly urbex highway out urbex highway yellow arrows and Oh yeah, yeah. So folks, this is a regular way, and for most people, come this down here. They weave the way down these steps up there. Oh, it's off an explosive box. But a big old room on its own. So we were up there on one of our previous floors, right at the very top, looking down, right up there, looking down into this huge cavern. Very cool. Right. Yeah, we've got a couple of options and routes here. Right, it, it just gets technical. Can we yeah. go? Oh, we turn left, that basically goes back onto where we were just a minute ago. So that basically yeah, down there. there's a big pool there to there's fall a into. Deep pool there, look. That'll catch you out with yeah, the wave catch you out. Yeah. So yeah, there's a, it's about a foot and a half deep there. But that just goes back round to the same chamber down there where we were. 
in, basically in here. So last time we were here, I had to manage to get a wagon all the way down there. And there was the wagons there, look. I've got a video of him pushing one of these down here. I'll, uh, if I remember, I'll try to include that one here somewhere. That'd be cool. But lots of electricals in here, look. Pipe work. So, try to mooch in there, let's go down here. Again, we've got a lot of the old, a lot of this old stuff here. Yeah, I did some housekeeping here, didn't I? <laughs> Just moved all this to one side. Big old cables again, look. Lots of old cables chopped off here and there and everywhere. Big compressor pipes. And we reckon that winch we saw just probably last, about 20 minutes ago, folks, when we come down the incline, that winch, you can see all the marks on the walls where the wire's been rubbing. See, yeah, on the floor here, look. And here, look, Clay. where it's cut in. So they're using that winch to pull the loads from here. And uh, you'll see why now. This is probably one of the coolest parts of the mine. I think what they did was they oh, pulled all the... Um... There you go, look at that. So we've got lots of burnt cable. The uh, cable thieves have been busy, old trap work. But then this is the bit... If you're coming down this mine and you like engineering, this is by far one of the coolest parts to see. Look at that. Except they destroyed the motor. Except the motor's been annihilated, yeah. It's a really old motor too, that. There we go. We'll take you up there for a good look around in a sec. But first of all, we've got lots of old electrical. <laughs> and there's still a lamp in that. I didn't notice that last time, look, Joe. There's a few bulbs in here. A few bulbs, yeah. One I think Adam... the winch there. The other tug of winch to bring the thing back. There you back. go. So that's another winch. Look to pull some of the loads from down there. Oh. We'll pull the loads from like down it's there. It's got the uh, tram star controller still on it. And you've got your brake. Colliery yeah. type brake, actually, that one. You'd stand in here. <laughs> you know, disengage it. There. And then still, got, the... still got a bulb. <laughs> All the information with water dripping off it. Still got a power supply, look. Well, it's chopped off there, look. Yeah, three phase. Oh, yeah, definitely three phase power, look. The three phases. And you've got the resistor bank here, look. Is that the uh, speed? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would have um, engaged different switches and different switches would have gone through the different sets of resistors and it would sped up and slow down that motor. Like a speed, very crude speed control. Royale. There we've got a winch. It's a Royal Bill James. <laughs> Royale. Someone's nicked all the uh, wire off it, an old brake block there, look at that bit of wood. Should and that I... would have pulled the wagons this way and the other winch would have pulled them the other way. So let's just bring you chaps. Fellas and fellettes. Yeah, in James, here. brake does still work. Does it still work, does it? Yeah, you just go on the side here. Oh, yeah, look at that. See them pressing against each other. Wooden brake box. And, uh, wow. You can take it there to dislog it. Oh, Obviously, that push that up there to oh, get it looks like lined with something, though. Look. Hmm? Bit of asbestos. Where? The brakes are lined with something, oh, with blocks. Probably. And the brake the wood's just to shape it. Must have been quite a cheaply built thing in the end. Got its own little shed as well, look. So here we've got track here, but this is this is one of the coolest parts of this mine as well. Here we have the first incline from the main single track incline, and this would have gone all the way down to whatever the lowest level was, we think. If you know any different folks, let us know all the way down. This is the one that asks you to raise and lower the pumps, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah. If David's listening, comment in the comments <laughs> but you can see where that little hump is just down there of the tracks folks it goes even steeper so we can see a wall but actually it just carries and going it just gets really steep but you see all these old pipes here pump old pipes and pipes. compressor pipes yeah because down there there's like a little reservoir isn't it, we found last time yeah so the bulb and the old, uh, pipes. old notification system look oh yes and then there's one that side as well which kind of still works you can see the wire going this off down does, there James. Oh. But it would have been a <laughs> grease. <laughs> Look at that, it's solid. Yeah. There would have been like um, a metal, like here. See this old cutting desk, so it makes a noise. You can see the wire goes off down Didn't there. We messed with this last time, and it goes so, yeah. down there. Yeah, one of them bits of metal. More visual, like, don't I think them. one of them is supposed to be separated. There's two two blades, isn't there? Oh. Another lamp here, look, just hanging midair. 
but yeah, here we go. So that's another tunnel. That's one of the main, that would have been their workers main way in and out that one. So that goes all the way to, what's that one again? Ch Cook's had it, is it? That's the one. Yeah, yeah. Cook's had it. So that's quite a ways down that tunnel, folks. That's all paved. We've done that. But there we, we go. We have done that one. That, uh, Dodgy at the end of dodgy, it. Dodgy, yeah. But there we go. That's the old winch wheels. Look, folks. So there have been two tracks originally. We'll go up there and have a look in a minute. But uh, you can see here, there's two wires coming off it. I think dickheads have spooled them out. They were never originally spooled out. But yes, yeah, bring you in here. You can see. See them? Big old rum, drums. Now, if you looked on, uh, if you watched some of our videos before, some of the upper levels, we talk about the old inclines. This is exactly how they would have been set up with these big old boards. Look at the wheels. Look at all the mechanism and levers. So uh, let's go and have a look. There you are. Look, you can see some of the old gears. Look at the size of them gears up there. Some of the old gears, I think. Wow. Again, I love all the old electrics in these places, just... <laughs> Bill! Just everywhere. Crazy old wiring. All love the grand here. staircase. This, this what, you what? I love the grand staircase up here. Yeah. There are some old telecom. It's a telecom, isn't it? Would have been a bell, I think, that. Yeah, bell. Would have been some sort of, some sort of uh, communication system. Right, let's have a look up there at this winch, shall we? Right, this is, um, before we go up there, this is the old motor look. look at the size of that. That's the, that's the commentator, I think. Yeah, commentator. So that's the bit inside the motor that would have spun. And this is part of the field. So this would have been out over the top of that. There's one half and the other half is up there. We're we'll going to have a look. There they've chucked it off to scrap it. And there's one of the end casing, look, all smashed up. That's the end of the motor, the bearing housing. Still got the roll of bearings on it, look. But yeah, all the copper's gone. <laughs> right. Very the noise through there then. It's a mine. Well, yeah, all sorts of noises in mines, right. Sadly, they've had all the bloody uh, bearings so what reckon out. This little thing was on here for, so this compressed air winch on yeah. the side of it for some reason. This thing here, look. <laughs> what a shame. So where Adam's standing there is where the motor was, look. Yeah. And this is a dry a gearbox, just a gearbox. With a fan on the back, look. Oh yeah. This has got quite hot. Wow. I can get it to shift over there, look. Oh dear. <laughs> it's almost going, isn't it? Yeah, and then the brass has been nicked so you can't turn yeah. it. Yeah. So here, folks, we've got the gearbox here, driving this shaft. This wheel here is just purely for brake, look. And it goes into this gear here, look. Which somewhere looks like someone's pasted grease all over it. Fairly recently, look. Weird, isn't it? Very weird. That's the old bearing, look, someone's nicked the top nicked the top gone, off the of bottom's it. still there, isn't it? Look at the size of these gears, are huge. Let's just go and show you where the old motor used to be. There's a compressed air winch here, don't know what that's there for. Part of a crane or something, I don't know. There must be a wooden staircase up here to get to that con control stage, because there's no way of getting to there it, is there, and walking around the back of here. So that piece down the bottom would have been sat here, and the other half. So it's a big old school open frame motor. Very, very, very cool. Nicked it all there, look at the size of that gear. <laughs> Then we've got the control leverage. We'll have a look at that in a second. Let's see if it works still. Yeah. Got some conduit. But there you are, folks. So, so these motors are back from a time when everything was direct current, not alternating current. So these motors were DC operated. And we know they're DC operated because of this crazy contraption here. I think we've still got Brian in here, James. You reckon? Yeah, looking at the solution in there. All right. Yeah. You reckon that's still Brian? Yeah, that's Brian, all right. Drink this it. One, this one's <laughs> fucking up. <laughs> uh, I reckon that's blind. Could just be water, couldn't it? But what's going on here with these weirdos? Yeah. I don't understand. Right, let's get what you. Let's get you in here, folks, and I'll explain a bit about how this works. 
Right, three tubs, and originally there probably would have been barrels here because you know, again, if you watch our last video of our other level further up, we found an old incline and we kept saying, oh, look at these old barrels. They would have been for the speed controller. Well, I guess they had problems with barrels with them degrading or silting up. But the main incline above surface, if you've already seen that, this is what this would have had. And there's one of these old buckets um, full of copper where they've used them just to move the stuff or copper, nick the copper. But anyway, you see it's got this mechanism on top and that big wheel there. That wheel is operated from the front and quite simply, did it still work, Chunk? It's no. all rusted. Oh. Nah, it's seized up on the crank seized here. Up. Yeah, so it's seized up. So anyway, this, this would have turned. I think it's stuck in the down position anyway. So these would have dropped into the buckets and they're half in already. And as they dropped in, as they pulled that lever, the further they went in, the faster the motor spun, and therefore this incline, the faster these drums went. The further they took them out, the slower it went. So Brian's conductive. And you can see these huge wires, which would have been... So Adam's got a picture of these up on the incline, surface incline, the same setup. And you'll see the wires jump in between them. They kind of piggyback between each one. And then they're missing, obviously, because the copper fuse on. But you see the holes in the back of that bucket there. And that one, there would have been a copper strip going into the liquid. And that would have been the supply, or this would have been connected to the motor. So you had electric current in there developed between these plates and the brine solution. I mean, it's very clean, isn't it? So I don't know if it is still brine in there. I ain't going to drink it. Looks like <laughs> it. What if you're going to dip the finger in it, to be honest? You can see that the old nameplate on that, though. Anyway, so that's what they are, folks. They're a very, very old speed controller, but it looks super, super cool. However, before all this was here, there was a steam engine here. Interesting. And the boiler was in the chamber next door. And we'll tell you why we think there was a boiler in there. And bear in mind, they electrified this mine in the uh, very early 1900s. Before then, this mine was still ex extremely active with uh, steam, and they had steam underground here as well. Yeah, look at the size of these, these big grums here, look. Huge. This one's almost had all its wires spooled off, look. Someone's gone the, um, the bottom bearing out of there, look. So the top bearing's still in, sorry. These clutches engage the internal see the keyed here that keyed there this whole thing let's bring you in his whole thing here would spin with the shaft and it's keyed and this thing's independent this big drum is independent so whether that this clutch here gets pushed in it engages this drum and then this drum becomes part of the drive and turns a drum well i'm thinking in the latter days they just use this one but so someone's nicked the clutch off that one look it's gone probably took it as a spare for something else Oh, it's yeah, smashed in half, James. There. Sometimes they break, wouldn't they? They're too vicious with them. It must have been smashed, yeah, because it's gone. Or unless they used it, this one, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's gone. Probably the why they stopped using it, Chunk, I reckon, oh. you reckon? Well, the cable's all on it, isn't it? So, I know. Oh, mind your head. That's <laughs> what the bash out's for. But yeah, these are... Been a These long have time got some since weight in them, folks. Look at the size of the things. Huge, big pieces of steel in two halves. So look, so they got they probably bought them down here in two pieces. But yeah, you look at the roof in here. Black, absolutely pinch black. So they definitely had something in here that was uh, producing soot mainly. It years was steam and years powered ago. once, wasn't it? It was steam powered, but again, see these old ledges here, and like that up there. There's pipe, there's holes here which go into the chamber next door and we'll explain what we think happened. So yeah. So we've got all these levers, that lever at the front there. Oh, let's bring you in here, crikey, what's going on? <laughs> so that, those levers, oh, they're connected control. to this here, which would have been speed controller, which doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. But you can see Adam's trying to, <laughs> it's rusted solid on there. Yeah, no. that's <laughs> rusted. <laughs> Needs some WD-40 on yeah. it. But there's a weight there, look, to, return it to the off position. But super cool, eh, folks? Very old. And then we've got clutches, which are these levers here for each one of these drums. 
Oh no, that's that's a brake. Sorry, doing a brake around that that band around that one. B and that's a clutch. Incline. In there, then these are brakes and clutches for this drum here. Look, and you can see they're right in line with. Well, that tells you what it is, James. What's that? B8 incline. B8. Yeah. Well, there you go. Love well, the amp meter. They've re repurposed it and put it on a modern switch box. It's cool, there. It? it says must be switched off when not in use. Free phase. Either the cardboard here with the little light windows in. I thought it was DC, unless they use a free phase fuse box, box have they? This looks a bit sketch. It is, yeah. Just stay on. Let's go have a look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, don't hang around on sketch. there. Sketch. <laughs> Everything's rotten now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I had that bit there got me then. There you go. No, it is DC, yeah, you just got two terminals up. Well, look at that. Top there, sleeve still works for him, there's no clutch on it. Look at that there. How cool is that? Still there, look, old ammeter. Very cool. Amazing there. And a bulb still in the bulb thing. Look. Yeah, what happened to the clutch? Must have disintegrated. Look at this uh, improvisation to hold the brake on. <laughs> yeah. They were clutch wow. Look how they've rusted. Christ. You think when back in the day when they're using this, these are in shiny. The amount of use. You reckon that clutch annihilated itself then? They just switched to that reel over there. Well, how'd you change it? How'd you put a new one on that? It's a death nail, isn't it, really? It's a massive job to get a light off to put a new one down the shaft. They're not bolted in two halves either. Yeah, they definitely didn't use this towards the end, did they? But it hasn't been used for a long time, that one. This must have been the last one they used. Running this one, going across. There you go, see. That poly wheel that's on the cable, just on the crib there. I bet they use that to hold it across. Attached ah, to something. yes, yes, yes. So running thought, line. So the, this, because this drum here is broken. Lost because, the, the because gun clutch. The clutch is missing there, look. Sorry, folks, bring you in. The clutch is missing there. What's well, broken or smashed off. There's one on that one. And they must have been using this drum, which isn't in line, look. They took the tracks up on the left-hand side. But you can see that snatch block there. I wonder whether they use that snatch block, those two snatch blocks, Keep the cable to pull over. the cable across. No, it's did, just, just a theory, say, folks. He, just he did, a theory. He did say this was the one they used to raise and lower the pump. Yeah. Although horn at the back of the mine. Because that was the level they used to bring the blocks down. He said if they had a derailment, it used to take all day with no production to get the thing working again. <laughs> yeah. It makes sense, doesn't it, if they were using the other incline? B8 incline. So they class this as level B then, later on. Because the other work levels are worked out. B, don't know. Makes you think, doesn't it? Joe's been here, look. I was thinking that, here's little Joe, yeah. Or Joseph Owens. <laughs> William Davis there, eh? WD. Have <laughs> a look at the gear Might have been in the there, operators folks. of the incline, you know. A lot of heavy yeah, gear in there. Chances are this one possibly was steam powered in the early days because it's really old compared it to the other incline. Yeah, these gears are huge, super, super old, aren't they? I've never seen them with this V, v pattern before. Well, there's a spare one of these in the mill, isn't there? The little ones. The little one, yeah. So obviously we know where a spare is for now, don't we? It was for here. Christ. You're nipping, nicking the bronze bearing from it. Colossal job to get the top off it. Just got to think about folks, just like how the hell they got these. And I mean, yeah, they, they come in two pieces, look, but still, it's uh, fairly involved getting these things. There's the guys here. that casted them, they probably cast at Port of Manog, these, yeah. And the gear was cast there, turn of the century jobs, aren't they? They're in a good pattern maker and a caster, not to have to do any machining to this once it was cast, you know, because it goes in, you can't get any tool into it to machine it. Amazing, that's just a size comparison for you. <laughs> Right, let's get off of it. It does look like it's been greased up, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, someone's been prattin' around. Someone's been here with a wire wall trying to clean it up. <laughs> Not going to make that turn again. You could clean that up. Bottom one's still in, look, the top one's gone. That's about the size of them in a standing edge wagon. They're like this. Sort of that sort of diameter. They're usually like nylon now, aren't they? Mental, in it? What a shame. That That's just a brake wheel look. Wonder if that gearbox was changed later then? 
doesn't look as old as the rest of it. There could be. But you think there was a direct drive here, but that's a fabricated base plate, isn't it? Well, it's not more, cast. more gears like the main incline. If you think about the main incline, it's got. Um, it's just geared down, isn't it? It hasn't yeah. got a worm worm gear drive. Let's look at them buckets, folks. Brine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's brine in there. It's, it's yeah, a weird actually, color of water. They're not actually super corroded, are they? The no. plate's sitting inside either, so... Brine's basically like a salt solution. This is it, probably folks. the only framework left here now, so it's yeah. complete. Well, the others have been... They've rotten and fell down. And... Very cool, folks. Very the cool. old boys up. Here's the old got... steps up here, look, James. Where's that? There's old steps up. Oh yeah, look at that. Says to me, they had the steam engine on here. Yeah. Look at the big bolt holes on this. Big old holes, yeah. It looks like an engine bait bed, doesn't it? Bet they had a big steam engine on it. And some pieces here. The boiler would have been next door, the steam pipe. Yeah. Some big old pegs here, look, for holding something up. Again, the roof on this building is dry rotted out. Obviously where they were drying clothes and stuff in there by the looks of it. We'll go down and have a look at that now. But yeah, there we are. Yeah, tube heaters in there, look. Yeah, on the wall, mm. electric heaters, yeah. So it's a drying room, that. This is where they came in and out of the mine, isn't it? So this was yeah. the cloak room for the mine. Uh, who didn't see how big that tunnel there is? Look at that. Well, uh, see how things crowded in here with the uh, sulphur in the atmosphere. A lot more so in here than anywhere else. Then. Went hey. down there. You reckon they come through there, the pipes? <laughs> Purpose made shelf through, there, yeah. look. James. What's Two that? massive lumps of metal on the block of wood up there, look. Weird, isn't it? Must have held some up. Right, so let's I'm have a look down there. Guessing there was a steam engine on it. So you can see all the oil down there, look at that. Because this, these stairs come up, and then they've put this in, don't they? This huge piece of. Yeah. Yeah, concrete. this is all concrete, this, folks. Look, so this is definitely latter. Yeah. All that there is. Lots of old brick look and slate. Huge block here, look, to support this wheel. Then this was blatantly put in, put in afterwards. So it was a steam winder? Yeah, steaming to start with years ago, perhaps. Later converted to... Yeah. Cool, very cool. So yeah, this has all been put in the way of the steps. <laughs> yeah. Don't know why there's a compressed air winch on here, folks. So did it pull some up through that tunnel there? Wouldn't if have thought pulled so. it through there. It'd be down here if it was. Yeah. It's there, James. Though, isn't it? Whoever had a belt on it driving this thing, do you think, to start the motor off? I don't know. He could have done, you know, couldn't it? What, start the motor? Yeah, maybe they put like a, a belt around that or something to start the electric motor or something. Maybe it was a bit sluggish. <laughs> There was a gate and everything here, look. Or they were using that to operate the, the winch because the motor was bollocks. Well, they could have done, yeah. Yeah, very well. It'd be more reliable in the damp, wouldn't it? A compressed air winch than a, a motor. So the motor was probably done, yeah. knackered years ago. I don't well remember done. a heater up there by that. No. There's only one man we know all know. Yeah. That's Mr. David. We need to get in touch with him again, don't we? Yeah, look at this old steel, this oh, old like this, James. stone base here, look at that. Look at, they've hidden the lock in oh. here. Look at that. <laughs> look at that, yeah. The lock's down, look. You wouldn't have known it was in there, would you? Well, from the safety, it's definitely still yeah. a thing, isn't it? Definitely inconspicuous. Mm. That'll confuse your airbexes, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got one of the main, so that's the main haulage tunnel to the other end of the mine, that one. That's a big bed, so yeah, I reckon yeah. there's a steam engine on that. That's a lot of stone there, look, folks. It's not even slate, is it? Slate block? Yeah, slate block, slate all block, dressed. Yeah. Rough really cut. fancy. Ew, ew, battery museum, look. Look at that. Battery museum. Ew. Ever ready? Ew. <laughs> Here we go. Ever ready battery? These big old dry cells, folks, I remember them. One here, old dry rotted door lock. Look at that, just completely turned into mush. You think this is a steam pipe here, James, in the roof? The roofs have all come in. Dry rotted, such a shame, but yeah, you can see here is a tube heater, electrical connection at the end. And there, uh, some electricals here, look. The lighting. Yeah, you can see where the boiler were here, James. 
So we reckon the uh, boiler is through here. The old pipes. There you go, look at that. That says it's something old for us through here, look. So these probably held the old steam pipes before they built this. And then these are the old carriers for the pipe work. The last time we were here, we were like, this looks like it was a base for an old boiler. Yeah, there's the smoke flue, look. Ah, yes. Look at the steel chimney pipe up there as well. <laughs> look at that. So there have been two boilers sat in here, I imagine. Well, I can see a bit of it there, look. Yeah. Oh, there's it there, look, folks. Smoke flue for the boiler. So we reckon we were up there. You know, that had those set of addicts we were at. Oh, it was all black as hell. All black, yeah. So if you watch our Hunter's Tunneling Machine videos, folks, oh, look at that up there. There's hoops. Yeah. That's it's steam pipe. Or something that goes up there. It'd exhaust it, be, wouldn't it, off the engine? There you go. See, so it goes that, that hole next door. Yeah. Sorry, folks, I'll bring you in here. You know That'll where I'm That'll be the at. exhaust pipe then. So you see that there, and then you got those hoops. Uh, we reckon that was probably the steam exhaust going up there because the chuffing off the engine would have had to have gone somewhere. And then this would have been the supply steam to it yeah, through definitely. there. Yeah, Look at how that's been built. They haven't that's took much cool, out there, have they? No. Only a small boiler. Very close where would come in? From so here? there would have been, yeah. Hey, look at all this ash. Wow, yeah, shit, there's tons of ash here, look. Tons of ash. So let's have a quick look at this. This is quite interesting. So this would have been, see all these fire bricks, folks? All these are fire bricks. Some artifacts there, look. Let's have a quick look. Oh wow, look, there's a base for something there, look. That's Actually, interesting, yeah, you've got you go. a um, Look at a that there, it's like, there. Um, see this here? You reckon that's where the fire went in there? Or where? just drew the air for under the boiler? No, that was the air, wasn't it? So this is very the beds big. here, look. They weren't very big, were they? No, they were, went back a fair bit. I'll oh, tell wow, you there what, you, you can see where the curved end of the boilers were, here, James? Look. Ah, oh, that there, yeah. That's where the... So it would have been the old school, yeah. what were they called, Choke? And there's the vents for the chimney, look here. The drafting flaps here, there'll be another one over there. Got some round there fire bricks look there, look. There. There's the chimney there, Choke. So it's an egg-ended the boiler, then? Yeah. Holes, oh, really old. hell. Wow. Might be a bit more How do they get that, that around here? Oh, they are. This is the flue. Yeah. yeah. Look at that, folks. There's the flue. This is smashed because the roof's come down behind yeah. it. Yeah. Wow, look at that. So that's the old smoke flue. And you can it see the rest of, them, of it. Look, James. The rest of it's up there, look. James. What's that? Definitely two because here's the other set of here, look for it. Wow, look at that go off up there. Love to know what that bit of metal's for. Looks a bit sketchy up there. Oh, this was a separate one there. Yeah, you see the brickwork here, look. One sec. See the curved oh, yeah. brickwork here? So there's two boilers sat here. So there's two boilers. You ever seen the ones... Um, you ever seen how they mounted those egg end boilers? Yeah, there's one by Vivod, isn't there? Look at that for a piece of coal, of. James. <laughs> there you green people, look at that for a bloody black gold. Massive. Wow. <laughs> I left a load of it down here. There's some up there, look. Ricky. So they're all sat on bricks. Fire I bricks. I love that ch chimney going up there. That's cool, that is, isn't it? But I don't know what that metal thing is there. It must have been a, another part of it. Yeah, I think it's a condensing tube there for steam. Well, take that, back that, to that's what them hoops are for. Look. Take the steam away. Definitely take the steam away because you wouldn't want it hanging around, would you? And then so this is why up, up there is absolutely black. Oh, it's a bit soft, that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Explain. Hey, there's a fire bar. There look, James. You see it there, folks. James. Fire bar. Look at that. James. Fire bar. Yeah. Well, so the, the cast engine. broke there, but that's... See, the fire's eating it away. Wow. So they probably definitely had the steam down here for probably about 30 years, didn't they? Easy. 20, 30 years before the electric come along. Got to remember folks, these mines started back in the 1860s, 1850s, some of daft like that. Yeah, look all the, the bad quality coal they've had as well, all the clinker in it. Look at that, for a lump of clinker. It's the hell. They shoved all the bad stuff here. <laughs> look at all this, yeah, all the clinker here, look. It was someone's job to shovel this away. Yeah, not all of it though, look. So obviously cleaning the fire out, chucking the bad stuff here. 
So Cole must have come in in wagons and must have parked them up here and just fired them directly. Wow. How cool is that then, folks? We were steam powered. Yeah, so this would have been. That's like these brackets would have supported the steam feed to the boiler. Then them ones up there would have probably been the exhaust from the steam engine going out. Them hoops, very cool, eh? Very cool. The bulkhead thing. We, we're up there, and there's one really sooty tunnel. Super sooty. Oh, it's nasty. The very it's, old it's workings sorry, up it's there. Nasty. Yeah. <laughs> you get everywhere all of it. <laughs> To our 1860s steam technology, oh, there's some hobnail boots. Always there, uh, always nice to see those. So wow, this, eh? Very so cool. this must have been where the guys came in to get the clothes ready to go in the mine then. This would have been a heated room. Well, it makes sense because it's right on one of the main habits into the mine, isn't it? So you had benches in here yeah. to sit on and get changed, but this sit is it. Get the changed. dry rots attacked it. Some carbide writing on here, look. More graffiti, yeah. More yeah. this mad fungal stuff. Shame the roof's gone, folks, but it's not from vandalism, it's the fact that it's just literally rotted away. The door here, look. Just, you can see how badly it's rotted. I mean, just everything is just, just, just completely gone. So we're doing the main tram level, are we? Yeah. All right. So that's the uh, B, what was it called, incline? B2. B2 incline, folks, the B2 incline. Uh, really, really cool. On our way out, so we can get some snaps of it with the big camera. But yeah, there we are, folks. B2 incline, and then it's also the main adit, the main entrance way for the workers for this mine down that tunnel there, and obviously tunnel links there with the old engine boilers down that way. And this line here, this one goes all the way. To the end of the quarry. If you carry on on this, it takes you right to the end. No, I, no idea how far it is, folks, but it's got to be at least half a mile to the very end of this mine from here. It's a long way. There's like a little boffy type thing in here, if I remember rightly. Yeah. And another tunnel. <laughs> Explosive story. Explosive story, yeah. Uh, ban abortive tunnel here, and it aborts just there, there, it doesn't yeah. go anywhere. So yeah, dynamite storage you reckon? Yeah, definitely. Because of his stone. You wouldn't have these to sit on for your break, would you? No. Cold bum. But it's quite, um, it's not damp Ooh. in there either, so... If you look on the other side, the over the chamber there, you can Lots see the uh, look, parallel, folks. parallel drifts that follow us. Yeah. So there's lots of, so this is the main haulage level, folks, for the tram line. So this was active right to the very end of the mine's history. This is how they got the blocks to the mill. That's it. So when they were underground, folks, they were right at the other end of this mine. They were. So we'll probably maybe come back that way over there later on. There's three or four different ways, yeah. isn't there? Do you want to do the, this, um, but... lead the way? Sorry. Or you just be following me or... <laughs> Got a telephone wire there, looks well, folks. That follows us most of the way down from memory. It's a good distance, this, isn't it? We reckon about half a mile, don't we? Yeah. Maybe half a mile, quarter of a mile. Maybe exaggerating there, folks, but this does take you all the way to the other end and to some of the best bits. So the band there's, there's a, a winch museum there, corner there. That's for the Homer winch, and I think there's a powder keg there. Let's have a good look. And some stuff. Folks like this sort of thing, don't they? It's just an old air winch, look. And a collapse, recent collapse that come away. It's bolted to this huge piece here, look. Look at that. Fairly fresh bolts as well, look. Double your anchor pointage, yeah. isn't it? Old air filter and a coat there hanging up, look. Air filter. It's a a jacket hanging up. Wax jacket, is it? <laughs> yeah, it could be. Yeah. So we can't do that way because they've dug Oops, it out. Some newspapers. Newspapers and lime. Here, James. We don't know what that's for, do we, folks? Interesting, look what they've spanned across the chamber there. They've actually put a wire ladder across them. Oh. See that? Oh, wow, well, yeah. Obviously to aid in maintenance. Wow. And then we can see down to one of the lower levels there, it yeah, seems. Yeah, certain depth at the bottom, look. Good grief. I haven't got the big torch in here. Mm -hmm. there. Yeah, there you go. So that's the... There you go. That's the second, to, second floor to the one that's flooded. 
So I reckon that is the flooded level down no, there. No, no. No, there's one after that, which oh. is, you've got water along it. No, that is the one with water on it. You see yeah, the water in the little hole in the middle So that's there. the lowest level you can walk along, folks. Yeah. Wow, it's a big old space like that down there. And then back I love up this there. Uh, wild ladder, though. They've yeah. chained two cables. Not seen that before. Obviously, to run the maintenance through, they've used it to Over there, look. maintain. Look at that. Definitely had a look through there, being into here. Not down to here, brilliant. though, to see that view. Yeah. I like the jacket hanging up. <laughs> Modern drinks everywhere. There's a, there's a stack of fish plates. Um, some newspapers there, look, with some dates on. And spikes on here, look. You know, we're, we're fish plate bolts and spikes here. Yeah. Doing oil change probably on the main digger here, look. Fuel <laughs> filter and air filter. Let's <laughs> find its way. You know what this is, doing? Newspapers everywhere here. Yeah, look. You've got a hydraulic filter. Pooping spot, is it? That's a hydraulic filter. And you got the oil filter for the engine. Oh yeah. And you got the air filter. Why that's all here? Or wrong. That could be the fuel filter, but it's a weird one. But they must have had the main digger in here doing the. Oh wow, some dates. Yep, we got there. Ninety-two. Yeah, about Andrew right. Andrew Lloyd Webber paid ten million for this picture. It's a bit, it's a bit daft, isn't it? That's where you want to sense that, that fella, obviously. Classic reminder of something. Phantom was probably well and truly in its stride then, wasn't it? Oh yeah, 90s. Loads of money. <laughs> Skull face. Yeah, you can see why they probably had difficulties with track down here. Look at the state of this track work. <laughs> if you get a driver dig alongside it as well. They haven't even took the point oh, yeah. out here. Look, they left the blades in. Oh yeah. Not even fish plated You up. can see the marks, can't you, where they've had the digger down here. What they were mucking about with that down here for. So yeah, folks, it's... Uh, like I did at the top levels and yeah. wrecked all the track work. I think they did use a Rustin down here earlier on as well. That would have been a bit of weight on it, wouldn't it? I'm sure. How much is one of them weigh? I'm sure. Well, aye, two and a half ton, aren't they? I'm sure that there's a broke. There. Big old chamber. Um, did a video of that, James. Actually, down here, VHS video. Probably that chamber, isn't it? I think we've been in most of these, haven't we? But... Yeah, no, we don't know so much. Yeah. That's that. That's where the pipe goes over there. We probably could get around there, actually. Ooh. See the double fans, Matt. Oh, this is a mad curve, isn't it? Mad curve, yeah. <laughs> so obviously the slate vein's shifting. Ah, this is the old incline. So as the track carries on down there, folks, we can carry on walking that way and we join up with it. Right. But then this is that really cool incline here, look. And you know what I found here last time I really liked? Found a cloth cap, didn't I? Oh, yeah. It's still there, look. Yeah. That's cloth it. Cap. Put it down and went home. Look at that. Yeah, that's it. I'm off home now. I've had enough. Yeah. Retired miner. Right, so, folks, we've got another cabin with loads of soot on the roof and another incline here which obviously was never electrified by the looks of it could be wrong oh no it would have been electrified yeah because you see the isolators in the roof there up there look then you've got this mad contraption they've built here look to uh to get the motor on and off <laughs> they seem to have done this in a few places made this get the keep the mad iron work for sort of like a little cup there look yeah, it's got the WH Hartley's logo on it. It says not genuine, unless it's got that on the bottom of it. Well, that's, uh, that's cool. But yeah, we've got another incline here, folks. Some sort of weird little area under there with spooky looking, uh, didn't see that last time we were up here. Hot. <laughs> Look at that. Don't want to go in there. Smeggy. This one's got 1926 logo on it, look. So when? Well. Look at that, James. So it's definitely um, electrical period. I saw a YouTube this... video of somebody uh, vandalizing, getting all spray paint off this in the video. Look, they have they've tried to get it off. Look, is this E. R. Owens, Dickheads, 1926? E. R. Owens was a foundry in Portman. Do you think they installed this? Oof. Yeah, it's definitely in the year and O. Yeah, 19. Yeah. They could have possibly have put this in because. I mean, I would have thought it'd be earlier than that. 
because of the soot on the roof, thinking maybe it's steam operated again. Well, it became but Britannia Foundry, and they took all the work from De Winton's when they shut in Carnarvon. So it would have been had, they'd have inherited all the. So yeah, the folks, basically, this is. Uh, we've just come from an incline. This is another one. Two track. Two track one that does go all the way down to. Well, it would have trolled track would have gone ah, to that we've been under this. It's all on the skew bridge underneath the foot of it. Yes. So that one yeah. goes all the way to the flooded level, we think, and then that one there goes to an intermediate level, which we might get to explore today. We don't know. This that's, is where this mine starts one. getting complicated. <laughs> that's where it goes back to the, um, the ladder of death. You reckon that could have been the chamber where they had the steam engine and again, lots of supports for random pipe work and stuff. Right. Probably this is electrical because you can see the big old electrics coming up here to an old motor. You see, I'll just take you in here and have a quick nose, but it's not really a lot to see, unfortunately. But, uh, this is where the big old drums would have been. Wow, there's a cool echo in here. Curry. Like a cathedral, people. This one. Like a cathedral, isn't it? And you've got a lot of soot up there. Look at a little exhaust. There. I'm just changing my battery in the dark like a pro. Look at that little truck there. You got some old railway wear, rail look there. Going down. That's cool, isn't it? And a little truck there, look. So I bet they had to do a lot of maintenance to that electric motor over the years. If I had to build a specific crane for it all. My Fenix cool, battery eh? has seen better days, so let's change it. Is it gone again, is it? Yep. Oh, wow. Let's just have I've a quick seen these. Here. See these bearings here, these plain bearings. Just gonna just go through it a sec. All right. Because I don't think we went into this last time we were down here. So this big chamber under here, look. Well, there's lots of steelwork hanging down. So what's that all about then? What's all this about? You can hear a lot of water running down there. Ah, so that goes to that other chamber, folks. Wow, they had electrical running up here, look, and someone's nicked all the uh, sat here for hours and spending stripping the copper out. Oh, okay. So there's that ladder, that chain ladder down there, look. And then it carries on here. So it carried something, old pipe work or something. Something was on there, look, some woodwork. You reckon there was a steam engine in here? Or are we just assuming it was just another... Let's see if we can see any fire brick debris. We peered through that just a minute ago. No. Just another cavern, isn't it? Another cavern. Right. I've seen these bearings in Penarth in Canog. Exactly the same taper base tun like this bolted onto a timber frame. But this looks like it's been specially adapted for this because the <laughs> oil hole's on an angle here. The ones there, they're just flat. There's no brass in them, they're just quite simple. Hmm. Obviously it's off the, the speed control because a big power contact copper oh, cable right, in there, look. Yeah. Ah. Must have been something to do with the speed controller here. Barrel here, a big bit of copper look, some mick there. There's well, two they tanks worth. They took all the blocks out. Yeah. It's been quite nice choice blocks, but look how well they've packed it behind, look, the masons. All they cemented, this up. Yeah, they've... They've taken all this out, probably for something else in the mine, folks. Or, yeah, you know, look, there's one of the old pedestals that would have gone on there. Or they removed these to get the winch down in one piece. Because we yeah. saw higher up, they, um, they'd they scrap one at the top, hadn't they? <laughs> so they're trying to be as, as, as enthusiastic as possible about this, folks. We've, we've seen this multiple times, but uh, like I was saying earlier on, folks, it's just I've got a better camera, it's better technology, better image. But look at the state of the track well, here. Why not try no, and do so much do trouble getting slabs to the bottom oh, yeah. of the incline. I mean, it's guess, not even I'm, a flat curve, is it? It's all over the place. Yeah. But I'm guessing with this, it was left here from God knows when, and they just because it was like one of the main routes through, they just left it in, isn't it? Some old conduits there. A conduit or airline? Hey, okay. airline, isn't it? Yeah. So I right, was carrying on the route. Folks, to the other end of the mine. We'll I stop. think the track was relayed up here, isn't it? Yeah. They spent a lot of money or time. Yeah, this bit's all been relayed here. Is that one of my lights flashing there as well? <laughs> oh, my headlights is on its way out. <laughs> I've got them on flat out today, mind you. 
Yeah, folks, you have to run everything flat out with your torches. It's just the way it goes. You try to light up the darkest places in the world. Let's give this a bit of a bit of a boost. I'm not using my my marauder today. Oh, here's some more track work here. Look. So, so you reckon this is what they were ripped they, out? Yeah, they re-railed it because this is all knackered. Look at it. Unreliable. All the bottoms rusted out to hell. Completely shot. Let's bring you in. Yeah. Yeah, it's completely shot. See where the spikes have been? There's no steel by there at all. It's all completely rusted out. Took yeah, the foot off it. Just knackered. So they obviously pulled it out. Yeah, but look they? at the head. There's nothing left for the head. The head looks like the foot. That's the base, that's the top, but it doesn't look like it. I've seen some traffic down here. I mean, look at it. Absolutely worn out. We've been up there, I'm sure we must have done. That owes a muffin, that rail. That's going to go to another cavern, isn't it? That'd be the one. might come round to that. We'll have a look at that in a bit on the way back, perhaps. That one's snapped in half here, look, James. What's that? One of them? Yeah, oh, fra fra fracture. Is it? Yeah. This one is a very joint, is it? No, it just coincides with it, but that's actually cracked. Oh. You see, the joint is there. They're only 18 feet long, these, so that's right in the middle. Yeah, folks, so these, these tracks here, see the wagon's been pushed down this far, this far, look. See the grooves made in the uh, those wagons in that chamber. They could still probably come down here, do you think? Is that yeah, what's you, happened? You, if you could get past all the claps, <laughs> clean the sides up and that and the flange ways, you'd get them down, but they're so heavy to push. Right sideways then, all right. <laughs> yeah, they've had some right trouble down here with this track work. I wouldn't want to bring a loco down here now, look at the state of it. Oh yeah, one of my head torches is flashing. The head's all collapsed here, look. Look at this. What, the rail? The whole, the whole rail's collapsed. Oh Christ, here, look at that. It's all pushed sideways. Wow. So that would have been here, it's just flattened out. Slightly better rail here. So they've replaced some of it, but not all of it. Looks like they were ready to replace it, look. <laughs> they obviously have no well, that one has been replaced, look, and they just... Yeah. Well, probably that one there, look. See that rail on that side? Yeah. That's a crappy piece, this one looks newer. Well, look at them, so if, um... <laughs> Wow. Well, the hell, folks. Yeah, yeah, this is heavy. And if this is stuff you find outside it's on the... Quite um... tidy blocks there, look. And old sleepers and stuff yeah, just, just rotten. Goes well, back that and stops. One goes. Oh, it just stops, doesn't it? Yeah, it just stops there. You see, there's like a pile of, of muck. Yeah, you won't be able to run a train down here anymore, folks. It's uh, the tracks definitely seen better days, but it's still cool to see it. Saying that, this bit's really good now. Yeah, the rail's all square. Squat's got a good head on it. It's all fish plated up properly. But back there, it's really bad. What was it, electric loco they were running down here, wasn't it? At the battery? end, yeah, it was yeah. a little yellow Clayton loco, which I'm tracked down where That's it's gone. That's a shortcut, yeah. I think, folks. There's all the old... Yeah. See all the old fish plates, eh? Hey? Look how old these are, the, the webbed fish plates, look. I got a web in them. Yeah. And you see that they've been banging on the joints so they have rust. Yeah. So, yeah, folks, if, uh, to keep the trains running, they've had to... Keep this down because we're this chatting to. This is quite a good curve here, look. Yeah, this is, here. this is all new stuff. We were chatting to a guy up on the surface last year, a guy called David, and he used to work here. And he was explaining to us that the main problem with the mine was is they just couldn't get the blocks out quick enough because of problems with this aged track. I wish I had known I would have come here instead of going to work for diesel engineering. Off to another, I think that basically carries on where we go here. What should we do? Should we carry on along here we for a always, bit? We always take the track, don't we? We always take the track. I think it comes into a big cavern here in a minute anyway. Yeah, there's a bit of a fall, but... They have really spent some time on this, haven't they, fixing yeah. this up? Ah, got... this is the big collapse, look, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Hell of a collapse here, look, folks. Wow. It's all the side of the chamber's coming, isn't it? Jeez, look at this. Wow. Oh, nice the slate in there. Oh, it's it's roof and the side. That's dropped off. It's allowed the roof piece to come out as well, isn't it? Wow. It's just sloughed off the uh, the grain, isn't it? There's obviously been a fault in the side there. It's just come out of it. Use it as a good slided edge. Yeah, folks. Let me just get the big torch on this so you can see it. Some good workable slate in this. 
There you are, look. Look at this here. That's come off the roof, that's come off the side there, look. Slipped down. A whole lot's just bloody coming off the roof, hasn't it? Tumbled down here, look. All over the track. Sorry, let's bring you in. So yeah, even if you wanted to run a little train through here, you ain't getting past there. <laughs> You'd have some work to do, wouldn't you? So it's definitely happened in the last 20 years. 10 or 15, I think that. Hell yeah. of a collapse, that, folks. Hell of a collapse. Right, this is the one we've never done. Ooh, look at that there. Scary pool. Hole that just goes down. Look at that there. <laughs> Yeah, that must be just a shortcut going back that way, isn't it? Wow, look at this uh, switch track here. Right, this <laughs> is this is the one we have never gone down, so we're going to do this. Probably goes back to where we just were before, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure. Right. Right, folks. I we're think this is where they were tipping waste. On ourselves. So we've just come from down there in this slate chamber that's just all collapsed down, look. So we're going to go back on ourselves, in theory. So let's see where this goes. We've got some relatively heavy duty trackage down here, look. So let's have a look where this goes. I'm thinking it might go back on ourselves. We've got the telecom, telecoms wire up here, look. Yeah, these are all the subfloors we didn't explore. We haven't done any of these, James. So we're going back on ourselves. This might be that little brick wall we were looking at, is it? It might be down there. Yeah. Ah, so that'll be that tunnel, folks, that we looked at. Yeah, there's the trackage through there, look. Yeah, that'll be back towards the track where we followed it oh, around. Oh, look, James. Look what's what down here. It? Exhaust down there, look. Look at that. There's another one that way. We'll, 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 we'll go back to that. <laughs> this, is, this is the problem, folks. You just can't... It's just stuff just goes off in all directions. There's another one that probably goes back to where we were before. Track carries on weaving off down here. It's pretty substantial gauge track, this. Look, oh, we've got ourselves a wagon. Look at this. Intriguing here, James. There's no spikes holding the track down at all. They've all gone. Yeah. There's nothing holding it to sleepers. Oh, yeah. Yep, we've not been down here before, folks. We've got some be, sort of scaffold. There used to be two of these on this level, these side wagons. Ah, we got ourselves a uh, tip here. Look. Look at this. Look at that. Been dumping into this cabin. Got some scaff. And then this pretty cool thing here, look. Got an intact wagon there, look. Let's bring you in. <laughs> Miles away. We'll just come from down there. We've got some big electrical here as well, look. Um, yeah. I think the cables are all chopped off now, are they? Oh no, it's just links that one to that one, look. Big old electrical. Strange, isn't it? Carries on down there. That probably drops down to the main. Oh, we've got a tripod crane here, is it? These, yeah, these big just poles. here, James. Remains of a tripod crane. Big old halogen lamp, look. <laughs> yeah. This is my problem, folks. This mine is just, it just keeps going. Keeps going. Track's starting to fall apart a bit now. Some more bits of the old tripod crane there. Look, there's the top, I believe. So you could put one up down here using these parts. More scaffolding, look. The remains of a crane here, James. Wow. With the iron knuckle on Lots the top of here. Uh, debris down here, look. Well, an old, old fog light from something there. <laughs> I had a crane here. See the parts of it here? Oh yeah, there you go, just like through there. There's the other leg, you went past there, look. See? Yeah. James? Yeah, saw it there. Oh, and there's one through there as well. Is there? So there's yeah. enough bits here to put a crane up. You could put a tripod crane up. Wow. There's a cable in there with a hook on, look, James. You're on about. Ah, yeah, from the bottom of the, to the incline. See that there? A clasp. Yeah, they've cut it off here. And then they've got a hook for holding the wagon, and it's been cut off an incline wire there, look. I don't know which one of my head torches is uh, giving up the ghost. Now, did they bring this in here to load blocks for this crane, or did they bring it here just to tip the waste at the end of it? Uh, air receiver there, folks. Fairly modern, it's welded. Lots of wire. The remains of a tripod crane here, look. Yeah, probably had a hole in the God knows where this goes. 
Yeah, but they've been digging out, look, which is intriguing. They've had a digger in here, look. Huh. So what they've been up to here, then? Let's bring you folks in. Hmm. Weird, eh? Definitely had a digger down here. Mill ends. Well, there's nothing in it. They've been tipping this here themselves. Gosh knows where that goes, folks. Oh, they're taking the side out of the chamber there, look. Ah. So they've been working this. So removing that, loading it on the wagon here, James, taking it out. Taking it out, yeah. That's what they were doing. All right. So, they had so a where crane does that here. go through there, though? Was that joined back up with that little well, subtunnel? That's that blue pipe, isn't it, again? Ah, so yeah. We'll have to go and have a nose of it, because we haven't been in this bit, have we? No. You didn't know this existed, right? No, we didn't know this was here, folks. So this is all new to us. You probably find out where we are if you shine down there. Yeah. Because we've been on the next level down, but this is the one we haven't done anything of. Yeah. Yeah, they've took all this co completely out. Oh yeah, took the pillar out. It's not your normal slate miner's way of doing it, is it? You've got all these slabs just pushed here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been a digger in here. Ah, I think, yeah, the tra yeah. train track goes down there, doesn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. That's the level just above the water down there. Yeah, that's the one with all the hobnail boot marks, isn't it? Yeah. So they've had a digger in here, look, pushing all this down. Because uh, if you look at the floor, it's nothing like any other chamber where the men the men were working. Oh, crikey, yeah. Oh. So you've got all these here. So where are these all going? There's an old shovel here on my right. So that there goes back to well the tramway must be over there. Yeah, well this is this is the old level before they built that one, isn't it? James. Yeah. If you come here, oh there's a footpath down to the bottom of the mine here. Ah. Ah, right, okay. James? Oh bloody torch. What's wrong with this torch? The head torch is flashing, that's flashing, everything's flashing. One sec, let's just try that to it. Oh god, but backpack is so heavy. Right. Do you remember when we came up from below up that path we found a blacksmith's vice and that? Yeah. It's there. Let's have a look. Right there, hobnail boot here, look. Very good Ooh, condition. Wow, yeah, look at that there, folks. Sides come off it now, look. Well, the leather's still kind of supple. Supplish, isn't it? Let's have a look at the bottom. There you go. Hobnail boot. Look at that, folks. Very cool. Good luck. So, ah, uh, yes, the path. Yeah. So we know where we are now. That must go across to the other side of that wire bridge then, that, James, because this is blue so pipe. Where's, what chamber is that then, for Chunk? You we remember we there. come off the bottom of the incline, we came to the other tunnel, walked down yeah. this way? That's it. Yeah. And we're further back again. So remember, well, we'll find that if we go around the back there. We, then, we won't remember we? is when they worked the slate. How can I explain this to you? How, they, Let's go back like down this. There. You, that, see, that's the slate vein. All right. They they put a tunnel in here and they work them out like this. So you work that out between the levels like that. Yeah. We end up having is a tunnel here, a tunnel here, and a tunnel here. Yeah, three of them between the veins. Yeah, yeah. Then as they blast them out, these get destroyed because obviously they, 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 they do work the bottom out below it. It works like that. But they've got to keep a level section for the tram road. So obviously we're here, we're, that's the tramway. Yeah. This is the one we were in back here. And then this one now is where we are now. It's sort of, it's Up in the there, roof, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Well, if we go right. down here and turn right, we might get to that chamber then to, to there. There's a bit, of a, a bit of a fall down there, isn't it? <laughs> well, there's a big halogen lamp here, look. Yeah. You That's could do that, but that I reckon we should there, carry folks. on this way now we've discovered this. Yeah. Have a look where that goes. Yeah. Just to confirm we'll have to that. i stop in a minute and change my head towards battery. Yours gone flat? What? It's, they, they flash, they do, when the battery's on its way. Mine doesn't, it just goes flat. It just goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it drops down in power settings. I'm kind of assuming in a minute, folks, we'll come to the tunnel with a track going through it. We'll just have... just. Not really paid much attention. So you know it swung around with that chamber where the collapse was? Yeah. Right, let's oh, look okay. you. So where does that go then? It's 
Where the hell's the railway track? Is that further? Cable? That'd no, that be through that way somewhere behind, behind there, yeah. all So this. if we go across there and look in, we'll see it. That will be the railway track. Yeah. Right, folks, so we're basically in a tunnel parallel to the railway tracks then. There's some artifacts up there. Oh, clay tin, isn't it? No. Nah. Yeah. Blasting captains. Artifacts, folks. Newspapers on oh, the floor. Christ. Christ. Oh, oh there's great. oil in here still. Look at that. Air, air drill oil in it, look. Look at that, just oh. as good as the day it was left here. Oh. Blasting cap tin. With no chemicals in that. What's it say? Pull stick. Covering oil, it's not rusting, is it? No. Looks like some sort of uh, roofing uh, bitumen. <laughs> yeah, it's a bitumen paint, look. And they've repurposed it. Wow. Protective coatings. Mm, Liquid bitumus. <laughs> They've reused it for oil. So that'll be going in the... There's some mouldy inclined wire it? there as well, folks, look. Come down here to There's die. a powder horn there, died. Yeah, there. And look up there, there's a, a self-rescuer tin. And this respirator thing. Yeah. Oh. Well, it could be just a respirator. Yeah. All them ones that uses... A bird's nest. A bird's nest. Well, it's just loads of... See all the, see all the dust on the floor in here though, look at it. Look at the cell coast has got the issue uh, in here. Not used this chamber in a long time, have they? I didn't think they had a, a wire yeah. rope across here, something. Yes, yeah, so that must have been the tunnel that we... with the railway line in it. Mm, oh, wow, yeah, yeah, James, remember, look folks. at that. Uh, yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, James? So we came past that, folks, and we looked up there and thought, oh, that's a bit of a scramble, we'll leave that. <laughs> James, massively old cable, look at that. Oh wow, the down old, here, um, really old vulcanised rubber. Vulcanised rubber cable that's disintegrated, folks. Yes, yeah, so there's the railway with all stacks of rails on. So, yeah, so we walk through there, folks. We basically, come back on ourselves. That must be the other side, the pool of death. Ah. Wow, this is an old chamber. This is covered in dust. Oh, they've been backfilled on this. So they're backfilled over the top of the railway. Ah, yes, it's it's got a big, um, got loads of deads in it, hasn't it? Yeah. So oh, well, says, this is the third, this is the middle tunnel, you've got the extreme one and the look, furthest one and this one. Look, climb the chain there, look, lost in the way. So we've got to go back the way we came, basically, folks. Yeah. It's a newspaper here, but you can't read it. Wow, look at this incline wire, it's just literally, completely... They made it into like a ladder or something, look. What's this up here? Completely disintegrated. It's all Cor crystallised the ground, isn't it? Corner of goodies. What's this about? What's this? I reckon there was a ladder going across here, because see this wire? Seen this? It's been split down the middle and put a V in it. I reckon there was a ladder down here. Because see this has got like bits of metal between it. Oh, I see. So they backfilled in the chamber and this is how they got up here. Not a big chamber, folks, but... This was the size of where I took the pillars out anyway. Some bits of metal Which here on the ground. Which I started to do here and there, took the pill supporting yeah. pillar out. I've got a feeling it's probably time for a cup of tea and an old tripod crane, piece of one, look. Lots of them down here in this particular area. So we're in an old part of the workings again, aren't we? Yeah. Quite dry here. Yeah, very dry. And some respite mask box. Here the uh, pipe go that way, look. We didn't go that way, did we? Oh, well, there's a 110 plug over there. James? See it? Yeah. We're into this one. 10 volt What's this one then, James? Here we go for here. The digger's been meet, down here anyway. Must meet back up with that other tunnel somewhere. Ah, this will go to that walk. Must do. And then that tunnel over there goes back to the railway line. To the left. Yeah, these are the blacksmiths. Yeah, there we are. There's the rails down there. Yep, so they brought so. a digger in, haven't they? Wow, look at that, folks. That's impressive. Left a shelf in, haven't they? Wow, look at that. It's bringing folks up here, look at that. Goes right up. And you got the blacksmith's area here, look, the teapots and things. This is where the B&Q shed was, look, James. Sorry, oh, it's more the torch do my head in. Oh, Harrods food high. halls. Oh, it's not doing high. There we are, it's not doing high. A lovely cup of tea. So, yes, that, that track there, folks, goes off to the, uh, to the main line. And then we've got the... Uh, <laughs> Where the old shed so, used to be. People. Someone's got a page for the Daily Star out here <laughs> with some explicit image on it. 
So there was a little wooden shed here, folks. This is the B&Q shed, yeah. The B&Q shed, yeah. shed that you can see is now just turned to dust. Which will happen to the same ones in the glamping pods in Camorphin. They'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they can just about see the side of it there, look, folks. They're literally a garden shed. They've got an oil heater going in here, look. Fluorescent light. And some explicit image. Some explicits. Or some old tart. I can't look at that. Well, I don't give it. <laughs> don't care. What's the date some on it, more importantly, James? Look. I say modern electrics, but 80s electrics. 1994. Got some pan of there, look. Pan of the day. Nice spoon there. Respirator. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of newspapers HP laid out. Sauce bottle. The old tin openers ain't going to work again, is it? No. Oh dear. A pound shop special. It was a bad day when that didn't work, wasn't it? Oh yeah, tin opener. <laughs> In really good condition, these, some of these. 1994. It's about the time they start stop doing stuff down here, wasn't it? I think. One ten transformer there, HTR. Yeah. Wilex so fuse box. Wilex, yeah. And over here you've got the blacksmith area. Where yeah. They had the, the forge, the vice, the leg vice is oh. still here. Look. Some big electrics here. Look. Oh folks. yeah, What's James. Like? Wow, that's heavy. There's the blower. There's the nozzle. Look. Isolator. Let's have a look. Oh, right, you've got the air blower there for, for the blue bottle. So that's the, where they blow the air into the kiln. No, forge. Forge, sorry, kiln. There'll be a tank here uh -oh. to cool it. Oh, my head torches have gone. Has it? Yeah. There's the remains of a leg vice up. And obviously the iron rack. The torches. Right. Bear with me. Both head torches have gone within each other. That's incredible. Actually, the batteries have both lasted the same amount of time. There's a spare nozzle here for the forge, look, James. Look at that. <laughs> right, bear with me. We're going to do a battery change.